Okay, in this tutorial, we're going to combine the effects of vertex groups and shape keys and particle systems. So this is an intermediate tutorial. You should be familiar with my 250 plus tutorials that I have in playlists uh, on YouTube. So, because we're going to go a little bit faster in this case, and you should be grounded in the basics by now. So what I have in here, I have a basic object in edit mode, and let's just, let's see if we can just use a different object here instead of this one. Yeah, that has all these original shapes set to it. So what I want to do is I want to go into this mode. I want to get rid of all these shapes. That was from a previous lesson in there. And there's, well, maybe we'll use that as our, see if we can use those. We'll get rid of those too. We don't need those. All right, here's our basic shape that we're starting with like this. All right, so here's our main object. What I want to do is I want to create a couple vertex groups. And then I'll go into edit mode and say on the first vertex group, let's deselect that. No, there's nothing. Let's just get rid of everything like this. All right, and then I'm going to create, say Alt. I'll create those as a set of vertices, and I'll assign those. I'll deselect them. Then I'll come into this location. I'll press Alt, and maybe I'll do it horizontally instead. OK, and then I'll assign those to that vertex group like that and I'll deselect it and verify that those are set. Okay, so I have two vertex groups set like that. All right, and then I want to get a shape key. Now notice you can't add a shape key when you're in edit mode. You'd think you could because you change shape keys in edit mode. So I'm going to leave object mode. I'm going to add a couple shape keys, maybe like this. So here's our basic shape. Now on this one here, I'll go to key one, and then I want to select the vertices from group one. So I'm going to go in edit mode. I need to be in there anyway to change the shape. So I'm going to change. I'm going to select group one. And then maybe I'm just going to scale it. And I'll just press S. And you can see it's going to scale it kind of goofy because only those vertices are selected like that. All right, but now I've made my new shape. And we can verify that if I go back to there, there's that shape like that based on group one. So I'm going to go up to key two. And I'm going to deselect group one, I mean group zero, and I'm going to get group one, and I'm going to select those instead, and I'm going to scale those. I'm going to press S, and I'm going to just scale it this way instead. All right? So really, the vertex groups, so you can control different parts of your mesh to do different things with it as you go. So those have both been set, as you've seen before. So I'm going to leave edit mode. I'm going to go grab the shape key editor. I have to go get the dope sheet. And then within the dope sheet, I get the shape key editor. And then here I am down at frame zero. Oh, so we'll, we'll set it up to say frame 100, like that. And maybe we'll use this key here for key one. And we'll just change the shape a little bit. And you know how I do this. I click here, click out. It sets that keyframe. And then maybe I'll go to frame 200. And then I'll use key two. And I'll see how I want to change it there. I'll change that up a little bit like that and maybe key one I'll change back down like this okay so maybe I like that look I'll click there click out click there click out so then they have my keyframe set and down here at frame zero I want these back to the original shape so I'm just going to immediately set those in there which instantly sets the keyframe by changing the values so now I'm going to press alt a and now we can see that it's morphing and it's morphing based upon the groups that I selected in the vertex groups Okay, well, so that's just one of the reasons. So, so now that I have that set, that's one thing, so I'm combining it. So it is actually a very efficient way to have access to your different parts of your mesh when you set your vertex groups. And that becomes more obvious with time. So uh, let's also get a particle system. And in the particle system, I'll extend the lifetime a little bit. Maybe give it some, some more particles. Oh, well, crank up the normal like this. I'm going to come up here, you know, and maybe add a cube and scale it way down. Just so it's out of my way. Give it a color. See if I have any colors. Yeah, I'll give it a purple color also. Well, maybe not that. I'll give it a new color. I'll give it a new color here. Okay, it's got a color as well. And then for here, I'm going to use the particle system. I'm going to make, uh, where's my object button? Oh, I don't have the part. There's my particle button. 
I'm going to use that object, which was that cube right there. And then let me just move my, let me start my animation real quick. All right, there's that. The particles are not moving. Newton particles, normal set way up there, lifetime. Maybe lifetime is too much, but that shouldn't be affecting it. I don't see it yet, but oh, I will. So let's go try something. Let's go down here, and we'll go down to the vertex groups. And then in this main vertex group for density, I'm going to pick one of those groups. Oh, I'm going to pick that one right there. OK, now let's run the particle system now. Oh, there they are. They're cruising. I just can't see them. All right, so I need to change the size. There they are. I just didn't have the size up enough. I'll slow it down a little bit. All right, so you can see what's happening. The particles are only coming out of that location for that particular vertex group that's set. See, like that? Uh huh. In fact, if I just go change this to, uh, let's go f get rid of that vertex group just for a second. Like that. Now you can see. It's coming out of the entire mesh. It's just coming out of everywhere on the mesh like that. So let's go get the other vertex group. And now you can see it's only showing up on the other vertex group like this. In fact, let's go into edit mode. And there you can see it here showing up like that. All right, so then so it allows you to control the particle system via you know the vertex group. And while moving the shape keys at the same time, I mean, come on. It's very tightly integrated system. It's getting just better year after year all the time, right? And then okay, let's go change it one more time. Let's go get the regular group and just see it. And there it is shooting out of there. So then you can control it how you want. Okay, well, that's it for this lesson. And I'll see you in the next lesson.